All right, type 2 diabetes has been clearly associated with carbohydrate intolerance and insulin resistance, and yet people with type 2 diabetes are commonly put on insulin and also prescribe often a relatively high carb diet. A recently published study demonstrated some amazing results with type 2 diabetics uh, utilizing, uh, not surprisingly, a low carb diet. Hey guys, Dr. Sean Baker here. What if there are a way to treat the root causes of diabetes uh, with a simple change in diets? A doctor has recently published uh, some pretty compelling research about it. And yet the American Diabetes Association, the top group in the USA, that sets treatment guidelines still denies that diet can be beneficial. Dr. David Unwin, who I've personally met over the years, uh, and he is in fact at a conference with me right now and spent the last several days with him, has gotten some attention for his clinical success treating type 2 diabetes with low carb diets. His published research has shown some quite frankly amazing results. What's interesting is we got 93% remission of prediabetes, so I started thinking about the prediabetics. 93% of them I can sort out. They never get to be diabetic. That's great. Of all the people who choose low carb, 97% of them get improved blood sugar. 97%. That, that's quite uh, an effective treatment. So of the people that choose the low carb approach at Norwood Avenue, 52% of them are going to achieve remission. Well, just think if you had a drug that could do that. It doesn't exist. Of course, his clinical success, which should be universally applauded, did also receive quite a bit of criticism. Dr. Unwin created some very useful graphics illustrating how different foods impact uh, glycemic uh, effect in, in, in the bloodstream and comparing it to teaspoons of sugar. And this graphic was actually adopted by NICE, the National Institute for Healthcare Excellence, uh, in Britain that publishes healthcare guidelines. The Daily Mail <laughs> published an article which called into question and shared how other doc doctors did not agree and instead thought that you know a banana did not have a significant glycemic uh, index as Dr. Unwin's graphic had demonstrated. Now, a freedom of information request revealed that the Daily Mail wrote directly to NICE threatening them for publishing the guidelines. So this government organization caved under pressure from this media outlet and now there is a change.org petition to have the graphics re and stated. Note that as of today, in August 2023, the petition has almost reached its goal. Why not take a moment to go ahead and sign that to help uh, get that restored? Now, circling back to the United States, remember that our American Diabetes Association says that there is no diabetes diet, and the official diabetes plate is fully at least one quarter full of carbohydrates. The 2023 ADA guidelines have been published, and they recommend a target blood glucose between 70 and an upper target of 180. Now 180 is very high, it's firmly in the diabetic range, and why set that as a target? An A1C level of less than seven is still a recommendation. The cutoff for diabetes is 6.5. So they're basically setting a tar target of remaining diabetic. Clearly, better dietary guidelines should have been included in these guidelines. Now, if you'd like to get on a low-carbohydrate diet with medical supervision, my company, Rivero, is now accepting patients on the waiting list, and we can certainly help you to implement that with physician oversight. Just go ahead and click the link uh, here uh, in the subscription, and you can join our uh, newly uh, created wait list, which will go live very, very, very shortly. Okay, guys. Let me know what you think about the way we manage diabetes. You think it's crazy like I do? Uh, you think just keep on pounding the drugs and the carbs and everything will be fine. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.